near bed that plus app can be run on android or ios and in this video the demonstration will be made based on ios go to the app store and search for near bed that Install the Nearbed Bet Plus app. After installing the Nearbed Bet Plus app, presetting work is required. Select to point for G bandwidth in the Wi Fi settings on your smartphone and allow Nearbed Bet Plus app to access all in the settings. Launch the Nearbed Bet Plus app, and once you see the login screen, tap the Sign Up button to sign up. Once you've signed up, enter the ID and password to log in. You will see the Register button together with the phrase, Please register a station. You can tap the Register button or the station icon at the bottom. You can register edit delete the station on the page that you see. In addition, you can connect the station to Wi-Fi, or you can set a device. Tap the register button at the top right for the station register page. In the first input field, enter the nickname of the station. In the second input field, enter the serial number. For the serial number, check the manufacturer number of the label sticker at the bottom of the station. After entering the manufacturer number, tap the SN check button, and you will see that this serial number is available pop-up page. Tap register to complete the registration of the station. The registered station will be displayed on the station list page. Up to three stations can be registered. To use the station normally, a Wi-Fi connection is required. Connect the power to the station, and check that the light roulette has turned on. Tap the Wi-Fi settings at the bottom of the station list page to proceed with the connection. You'll see the name of the Wi-Fi AP that has already been connected, and after entering the password of the Wi-Fi, in the field below it, tap the connect button. After about 30 seconds, along with a pop-up message indicating that the connection is successful, the station's LED will turn yellow and then green. In case the connection fails, remove the power of the station, reconnect and retry in the previously mentioned order. In the event connection fails after several attempts, check if the Wi-Fi password has been entered correctly, or check if the Wi-Fi is A to point for G band. If the connection still fails, please email near Bega. Once the station is connected successfully to Wi-Fi, station settings can be changed set. Even if the power is removed but connected, the connection is made to the Wi-Fi that has been connected previously. Connection setting only has to be made once in the beginning. If you wish to connect to another Wi-Fi, connect to another Wi-Fi in the smartphone settings, then reset Wi-Fi. There are two ways of resetting the Wi-Fi. Tap the Wi-Fi reset toggle button in the app to on off or reset by referring to the reset the Wi-Fi part. In the quick guide book, Station plays the role of transmitting the data collected from care to the server. Therefore, the station has to be connected to Wi-Fi at all times, and a certain distance has to be maintained with care, so that signals can be sent and received. It is recommended that the station is placed in the room where the baby sleeps in. In this chapter, we're going to register the baby's profile. Once the baby's profile is registered, the data measured by CARE is automatically saved per profile. As for the profile, up to three people can be registered per station. Tap the arrow at the top left to return to the main screen. Tap the register button or the plus button at the top left to move to the profile registration page. Once you tap the camera shaped icon, you can register an image. You can import an image from the album or take a photo to upload the image. After inserting the profile's name, date of birth and gender, tap the register button. You can check that the profile that you've just registered has been uploaded to the main screen. If you want to register the profiles of several people, tap the plus button and register by using the same method.
Once you've registered the profiles of several people, you can swipe the screen sideways to monitor each of them. Tap the three-dot menu bar at the top right. Notification settings, modify profile, delete profile features are available through this menu. This round-shaped device is care. If you press the black button at the side shortly once, the power comes on. The power comes on and in the beginning, the light blue LED will flicker and then turn green. This indicates that it is functioning normally. In addition, it means that it has automatically connected to the station. If the LED doesn't turn green, position the care close to the station or check if the station's Wi-Fi is connected normally. If the black button at the side is pressed for two seconds, it will vibrate and the power turns off. Now, we're going to attach care on the child. The clip of care is so strong that it can't be opened by force. So this tip has to be followed in order to attach it easily. Slip the middle finger of both hands at both ends of the waistband of the baby's diapers. Then, pull both ends of the waistband sideways tightly. At this point, slip the clip of the care at the center of the waistband that has become tight. Once the care is attached to the baby, the LED will turn off automatically. This is because if the light of care flickers, this will stimulate the curiosity of the baby. And the baby may try to remove it so the LED has been designed to turn off once it is attached, to prevent the baby from removing it. At this point, once the power button is pressed gently, you'll be able to see the LED flicker three times in pink. You can use this method to see if care is functioning normally. Use the station to charge. It takes one hour to be fully charged. Once it's fully charged, it can be used for more than 20 hours continuously. When it's being charged, the LED at the bottom will light up blue, and once it's fully charged, the LED turns off. Once you've checked the link with care phrase in the screen, proceed with linking the profile. Link here refers to linking care with the baby to be monitored. One care per profile can be linked. The activity data of the baby who has been linked is reflected in the profile page in real time. Tap the link button at the bottom of the screen, or tap the link icon, among the round buttons, to see the link page. If care and the station are connected properly, the above screen will appear. The information on the station that I've installed will be displayed in the place where the arrow is. If more than two stations have been installed, all the cares connected to the respective station can be checked. The list of connected devices area shows the list of cares connected to the station that has currently been selected. Three units of care can be connected to one station. You can use the SM to distinguish which is the care that you're going to connect to. This number can be checked on the label sticker at the top of the cares clip. Now, we're going to try linking. Once the care is selected, the link button is created in the profile box with the baby's name at the bottom. Once you tap the link button, care and the baby will be connected to each other. Linked pop-up window message will appear and then tap the arrow at the top left to return to the previous screen. If the main screen displays information unlike before, it means that the link is successful. This time, tap the three dots at the top right. Once it's linked you won't be able to modify and delete the profile information, so you'd be able to see that they have been deactivated. Therefore, if you wish to modify or delete the profile information, please unlink first. Once the device is attached to the baby, the screen above can be seen and now, monitoring can be done. The antenna icon located below the profile shows the signal strength between care and the station. Once the number of the antenna drops, it means that the signal strength is weak. If the signal strength is weak, it may get disconnected to so maintain a close distance between the station and care. The icon beside the antenna indicates care's battery balance. If the battery balance is low, charge care. When care is attached to the baby, the character inside the screen reflects the current posture of the baby. 
Moreover, the skin temperature and abdominal movement are also displayed together. The figures displayed in the app are displayed on the screen appropriate 5 seconds. After care starts, taking the actual measurements. If you scroll down, you can see the timeline information. Here, you can personally enter the notification information, dosage information, and temperature measured by the user in text, and you can tap the register button within the timeline to use this function. You can record the current body temperature and state of the baby in detail, and also live records on the medication taken by the baby. These records can be used to show the doctor in charge when you visit the hospital in the future. If you tap the More button at the bottom to move to the graph page, the information recorded in text is combined with the information measured by the device and will be organized so that they can be seen easily at a glance. Records can be modified or deleted on this page. Tap the graph icon. Graphs per measurement item will appear. Graphs can be viewed in an hourly unit by tapping the left and right button, and they can be viewed by setting in monthly daily unit. It is also possible to designate a specific date and time. Tap the profile notification settings. LED notification is a function that can turn CARE's LED lamp on and off. Once CARE is attached to a child, the LED turns off automatically, so it is recommended that it be turned on in the settings. The vibrate notification and abdominal movement notification will be explained together. First, abdominal movement notification is a function that triggers an alarm. When there is no abdominal movement in babies who engage in abdominal breathing, as the baby is deemed to have stopped breathing. At this point, the vibrate notification function has been designed so that care vibrates to wake the baby up. Vibrate notification only functions when there is no abdominal movement. This function is only recommended for babies below 6 months, and for those above that age, care may get confused and give out false notification, so please keep this in mind. Next, the most important function is the skin temperature notification settings. If the skin temperature notification settings is on, the notification temperature can be set personally. At this point, notification is triggered when the temperature of the baby exceeds the temperature that has been set by the parent. Care is a body contact thermometer, which is equivalent to the thermometer that is used on the armpit or mouth. Therefore, normal temperature is displayed 10 minutes after it has been attached to the baby and it is 0.51.0 degrees lower than the infrared ear thermometers. Before the setting, the temperature is set at 37.4 degrees, and this is similar to the temperature of the average 37.8-38.0 degrees of infrared ear thermometers. However, this is just an average figure. For children with a high average basic body temperature or children with an unusually cold abdomen, parents have to acknowledge it and make settings according to the circumstances. Posture notification is used during sleep. Notification is triggered when there is no change in the respective posture for 10 seconds. For babies who find it difficult to hold their head up or turn over, it is recommended that notification is triggered when lying on stomach. Posture notification is a function that is not significant in children who have good control over their bodies. Permission settings is a function that assigns permission so that a person, other than the main parent, can monitor. For example, if the mother, who is the main parent, assigns permission to the father, the father would also be able to monitor the baby, like the mother. Permission can be assigned respectively per profile. Now, then, tap the permission settings icon to move to the page concerned. If you tap the plus permission button at the top right, the registration window screen will pop up. Here, enter the ID of the person that you're granting the permission to. Set the scope of permission in the tab below. The type of permission is divided into read and read write. 
If only the read permission is given, only the state of the baby can be checked, but the notification settings cannot be changed, and the push notification cannot be received. Read write permission enables all settings to be modified, just like the main parent, and push notifications can be received. If registration is complete, you'd be able to check that the ID with permission has been registered on the list page. On this page, the scope of permission can be set, again, or the permission can be withdrawn, by tapping the delete button. If the button at the top right of the menu screen is tapped, the menu bar slides open from the right. The logout button is located at the top left. Once you log into the app once, you remain logged in until you log out. If you tap the member information button below the ID, you'll be transferred to the page where you can modify the member information. The station icon is the menu for transferring to the station list page. The link icon is the menu for transferring to the link page. Firmware icon updates the firmware of care. The app notification icon transfers you to the page for selecting the notification items for the parent. Sound notification is the menu where the melody can be selected for push notifications in the app. It functions according to the device settings of the smartphone, so if the device itself is in vibration mode, there may be no sound. Vibrate notification is a function that notifies the app's push notifications by vibrating. It functions according to the device settings of the smartphone, so if the device itself is in mute mode, there may be no vibration. Push notification is the menu for turning the notification itself, on and off. If the push notification is turned off, there may be no notifications in the app. Temperature unit is the menu for setting the temperature display, in Celsius, or Fahrenheit unit. Language sets the language to be used in the app. After setting the language, close the app completely, run it again and the new language will be applied. App Info Icon displays the current version of the app in use. Notice icon transfers you to the Notice Bulletin Board. Guide icon guides you to CARE's user guide video. So far, you've watched how to use Nearby Care Plus and the app. Thank you for watching until the end.